Okay, so in this episode we are going to be tackling images. So we are going to create a image field uh, for our movies so that we can add a poster to our image. And also we are going to be creating an image gallery of our movie. Uh, one more thing we are going to do and uh, we are going to do that right away is fix our pagination and movie slugs because for some reason that doesn't work anymore. I don't know what happened there. So it just worked before, now it doesn't. I don't know how to fix it except for the way that I will show you in a second. If I go to my movies page right now and click on Inception, this doesn't uh, work for some reason. It just stays on the same page. Actually, it changes the URL, uh, but uh, it displays the record list. So the list of our movies. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, it does the same thing on my test instance of this site. So I think it probably has something to do with this movie URL and the slug and then a movies URL and the page. So October doesn't quite know if it should display pagination or it should display our movie. So what we can do, we can just go to movie single and change movies to be movie and then a slug or you can change this movies to be a movie whatever so you just save this and uh, now our urls are going to be a bit different but if i click on inception right now it should work also what i'm going to do i'm going to go to movies and uh, set records per page to be 10. okay because we don't need pagination with only three movies okay so that's it so if you're having the same problem as i did uh, this is the way you can fix it at least for now okay so let's set up our images right now so we are going to go to our builder plugin and then we select movies go to models fields and then I'm just going to add one more control right here. And I'm going to choose a widget called file upload. Okay, so the cool thing, thing about October, you don't need uh, to have a database field for this because it already has some systems to handle your images. So I'm just going to add a field name and I'm going to call it poster. And the label will be movie poster. Okay. Um, next thing we need to do, we need to set up this file upload and the mode will be image. Also you have this image width and height. So this reference is actually the size of your image that will be displayed in the administration. So not the images that you will get on front end, but in the administration. So you don't have to make this really big. I will make it 100 by 100 pixels. Okay, and that should actually be it. We just save this. And now if we go to movies and click on inception, you should get an error. You get an error and it says it doesn't have a definition for poster. So it's not as easy as you would think it would be because you have to add something to uh, your code. So we are going to go to our code editor, go to plugins and then watch learn movies and uh, models. So we want to update our movie model and set a relation for our images. So I'm just going to comment relations right here. And we are going to be talking about relations even more in the next video. But in this video, we have to attach our movie to our model. So to do that, uh, you use public attach one because we, we want to just, uh, we want to attach just one image 
uh, to our movie model at least for the poster and then we are going to create a gallery and in gallery we are going to attach many images to our movie model okay and now you say you set the field of your image okay so we say public attach one poster to the system models file so this with October CMS and now if we save this and refresh our page this should actually work okay now we just go to movie poster and we can add a poster to our movie so I'm just going to go to my desktop I have this inception right here and this is this would be the featured image for our movie open it up as you can see this is all this all looks very nice in October so we have this image right here we can just save this and now our inception movie has a movie poster now how would be we display those images actually the image that we get from poster field so I'm going to go to my movie single.htm and below the title of the movie I can write just something like this save it and now you can see that we get an array of uh, our poster we get array of data that is connected to that image so you get the ID the disk name the file size path and so on so what you can do you can just grab the path for example save it and now you just get the path of the image and of course you can just use the image tag and display that image that way and now we get that image but it's a little bit too big so we can what we can do we can use this twig function called thumb and make our image let's say 200 pixels in, in width and uh, to height to be relative to our width so to be proportional to the original image and now you get this so this is the poster for inception okay there are a few more things so let's say you want to make that image be 200 by 200 and cropped so you can do this save it and now our image is 200 by 200 pixel and it's cropped I'm going to leave it to be actually auto now the thing with thumb function is I don't uh, I didn't actually find any documentation on it I just stumbled on it on the internet and I couldn't find documentation for the parameters that the thumb function takes so if any of you know where to find that documentation please let me know so for now I know it uh, accepts 200 by auto it uh, accepts the mode for cropping the image but uh, other than that I can't tell you very much so let's go to our builder plugin right now and create our gallery so I'm going to go to models fields and create a new field right here and I'm going to select file upload again I'm going to give it a name of movie gallery the label is going to be movie gallery uh, the file upload is going to be f image uh, and uh, image width and height let's set it to be 80 by 80 and that should actually be it just save this of course if we go to movies once again and go to inception we should get an error like we did when we did the poster field so I'm going to go to my movie model once again copy this out paste it right here and instead attach one I'm going to say attach many 
and the field is movie gallery and that should be it if we go right here refresh it now we can add many images to our movie gallery so if I click on this and by holding the shift key I can choose all of these images click open and now as you can see those images are loaded right here also you can move them so you can change the order of your images and that's the way that they are going to be displayed uh, on your front end so let's display those images right now first of all we have to save this I'm going to display the images below our description put the gallery in h3 tags and now the to display many images a situation is a bit different than displaying just one image because you get an array of images so if we do record movie gallery save it we should get an array with images so this is the first image this is the second image and so on so you have to iterate over those images to get the individual image so what you can do is let's just uh, create an ul tag and then we are going to use the twigs for loop so I'm going to say So I'm going to say for image in record dot movie gallery. So this is going to be our our image variable. Um, <clears throat> so this is a for each loop actually. And then we have the access to the image uh, variable. So if I do something like image dot path, I would get the paths of all the images. So let's just put br tag behind this so that we can see it better. And now, as you can see, we get the paths to those images. So the situation right now is the same as with this record poster term. So when displaying just one image, uh, of course, uh, the CSS for this is already written. So I'm just going to add a class to the UL of gallery and clear fix. And then I'm going to put the image into li tag. And of course the image thumb should go into a image tag. So I'm not going to be using image.path, but I'm going to be using image.thumb. And I'm going to set it to be 80 by 80 and the mode is going to be crop. Okay, if we save this right now, we should get the image gallery with all of our images cropped and displayed one more thing you can do you can add an a tag right here around your image of course and now if we save this go to our page click on any image we should get the full version of that image okay so of course this would be much better if you use some uh, lightbox plugin jquery lightbox plugin and then you would probably just have to write uh, something like class lightbox or something like that in here and then when you click on this the model would open up and display your image so this is the way you deal with images in october cms don't forget everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below also if you like this video please like it if you like the content i put out please subscribe to the channel uh, you can follow me on twitter or on facebook and ask me questions there so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next episode